the Lord. We thank God for another time of prayer. At this juncture, I want to welcome each and every one of you to tonight's prayer service. This is our destiny prayer service coming to you from Christ Family Crusaders Church. Wherever you are watching us uh, uh, all over the world, I want you to know that you are warmly welcome and this is going to be a great time in the presence of God, it is time for us to come together for prayer, 
prayer is something which is very important to us as believers. It is something we can never downplay it in our lives. We need it. We need it every day of our lives. And any time we get up in the morning and we see that there is life in us, then we know that God has given us the opportunity to be able to communicate with him. Indeed, prayer is a privilege. It is a privilege because uh, in prayer, we do not communicate with anybody at all, but we communicate with the maker of heaven and earth, the one who created us. And that is uh, an opportunity he has given to us in our lives that any time we can come to him and call upon him and he is always ready to listen to us one of the things that jesus teaches us in the bible uh, is perseverance that is perseverance in prayer and uh, when you read matthew chapter 7 verse 7 to 8 you see jesus clearly making this uh, uh, perseverance in prayer uh, so open to us so that we can also seize the opportunity to pray all the time. Just as the Bible says that we should pray without ceasing, we know that anytime we have the opportunity to pray, then God is also ready to listen to us. Again, in the book of Colossians chapter 4 verse 2, Paul also urges us to devote ourselves to prayer. And that tells you that prayer is very very important colossians 4 verse 2 the bible says that devote yourselves to prayer being watchful and thankful so these are the days of prayer especially in these critical times when we need help from god we always have to pray we need to support ourselves with prayer as children of god because it is only god who is able to help us with whatever we need, with whatever help we need from him. Of course, there are people around us who can help us in many ways. But we all know that in these times, when a lot of people don't know what to do, in these times where we are all trying to find answers to uh, the, the questions that are confronting us in this life especially this COVID-19 that has become a threat to human lives and all over the world it seems there is no uh, solution we know that it takes the mighty hand of God for us to be able to come out of this uh, difficult situation so this evening we have come together to pray uh, just as we've been doing all the time, especially when it comes to a Friday Destiny Prayer meetings. So I want to encourage you wherever you are, and I want you to take this prayer service very seriously because I know God will definitely listen to you. Your time in the presence of God will never be in vain. So if you have not invited somebody to join us in this prayer service, I want to urge you to do that right now call a brother, call a sister to join us in this service and I know that your life will never be the same and whoever also seizes the opportunity to participate in this prayer service will also be blessed equally. So we thank God for tonight and I know tonight is going to be a great time because God is already here to listen to the prayers of his children. So God bless you for coming and tonight I don't want us to waste much, waste much time uh, uh, doing uh, exposition or trying to explain uh, certain verses of scripture. We'll go straight into prayer because that is the reason why we came here tonight. But we thank God that at least in these two verses, Matthew chapter 7, 9 to 8 and Colossians chapter 4 verse 2, we get encouragement to pray as God's children. And we are going to support ourselves tonight with prayer. And the reason why we can never stop praying is that prayer can never be in excess. There are some people who think that they have prayed enough. So it's time to go to sleep. 
and the prayers that they have made will, will work for them. But I know that just as the word of God teaches us, we always have to stand in prayer. Whenever we have the opportunity to pray, we have to pray as God's people because God is always ready to listen to us. And it is only, not only in times that we need something from God that we have to approach him in prayer because prayer is a conversation we have with God. And just like we talk to our friends and our family members all the time about anything, we can also come to God in prayer at any time and talk to him about anything. Not only to ask him to give us something, but we can also talk to him because he is our father and we have to build the relationship we have with him. And we do that through prayer. So you wake up in the morning and it is natural as a child of God for you to go to the Lord in prayer. At any time in the day, you can also go to God. Even if you are in trouble, you can run to God. When you are even happy and everything is moving on smoothly for you, you can still go to the Lord in prayer, giving him thanks and praise. So tonight we are going to start our prayer with thanksgiving because we know that the Lord has been good to us. He has been good to us as individuals. He has been good to us as a family the lord has been with us he has preserved our lives if we are still here that we know that it is god who has been working in our lives in fact the bible says that he neither sleeps nor slumber so god is always awake and he's always working in your life let me tell you you have come this far because of his mercies. you have come this far because of his grace if you are still alive then you have to count yourself blessed because the lord has been blessing you he has been giving you so many things he has loaded you with so many benefits that you can't afford to keep your mouth shut and not give thanks to him so we want to start this prayer service with a prayer of thanksgiving we want to sing a song to thank the lord and then we'll continue to pray and give thanks to the lord you deserve a very big thank you Oh Lord, you deserve a very big thank you. Oh Lord, you deserve a very big thank you. Oh, a very big thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, let's sing one more time. You deserve, you deserve a very big thank you. Oh, Lord, you deserve a very big thank you. Lord, you deserve a very big thank you. Oh, a very big thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, you deserve you deserve a very big thank you oh you deserve a very big thank you oh lord you deserve a very big thank you oh a very big thank you Thank you, Jesus. Give thanks with a grateful heart. Give thanks to the Holy One. Oh, give thanks because He's given. Oh, Jesus Christ, His Son. Oh, Oh, give thanks with a grateful heart. Oh, give thanks to the Holy One. Give thanks because it's given Jesus Christ as His Son. Oh, and now. And I'm a leather we say I am strong 
oh, and let the poor say, I am rich because of all of the Lord has done and for us. Oh, and uh, and uh, let the weak say, I am strong. Oh, and let the poor say, I am rich it's because of what the Lord has done and for us give them. So, beloved, we want to continue in prayer and we want to give thanks to the Lord. The Bible says that we should give thanks to the Lord in all circumstances. In every situation we find ourselves, we have to give thanks to God because it is the will of God in Christ Jesus. So tonight, I want you to continue to pray. Give thanks to the Lord for what he has done all through the work. All through the week, the Lord has been with us. The Lord has preserved our lives. He has protected us and our families and our loved ones. He has been with us as a nation. And we want to thank God. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. When we look at the marvelous things that you've done in our lives, the great and the many things, the Lord, that you have done in our lives, we have every reason, oh God, to give thanks to you. We have every reason to give thanks to you, oh God, because you have done many things for us. You have been watching over our lives. Our going out and our coming in. You have been watching over our lives, oh God. You have been providing for us. You are the great provider. You provide everything that we need. You give us food to eat, water to drink. Oh, clothes for our body, oh God. Shoes for our feet. We thank you. We thank you. When we consider all these things that you've been doing in our lives, oh God. Uh, Heavenly Father, all that we can do, all that we can say is a thank you. Thank you. Thank you. For you have made all these things of oh God uh, available unto us oh God uh, you were a gracious God you were a merciful God uh, you were a good God uh, and he continued to show us your goodness thank you thank you thank you for the many blessings of oh God you continue to pour upon our lives oh God thank you for watching over our families and our loved ones thank you oh God thank you oh Lord uh, we appreciate you so much oh God uh, we appreciate you oh King uh, we appreciate you our Lord uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. We can't even count our blessings, oh God, because they are numerous. We can't count our blessings because they are numerous. In a day, the things you do for us cannot be counted, oh God. We want to say thank you from the bottom of our heart, oh God, we are giving you thanks. From the bottom of our heart, we are giving you thanks, oh God, because, oh Lord, you, you continue to do awesome things in our life. You continue to heal us of our diseases. You continue Continue to forgive us of our sins. You continue to deliver us from the hands of the evil one, oh God. You deliver us, oh God, and save us from temptations, oh God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We thank you. We thank you for the awesome things, oh God, you will continue to do. Our hearts are filled with thanksgiving, oh God. Our hearts are filled with thanksgiving, oh God. And whenever we open our mouth, oh God, we know that what we offer to you, what we offer to you, uh, is a is a sacrifice of thanksgiving, oh God, and a sacrifice of praise, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, our Father. Thank you, our Lord. Yes, oh God, under your wings, oh God, we have protection, oh God, under your wings, oh God, we are covered, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Many are the things that the enemy tried to do against us, but because of your protection, oh God. We are always safe, oh God. We are always safe when we walk out there, oh God. Even in the day, there are many things that the enemy tried to do against us. But because of your great love for us, you save us. You save us. You save us, oh God. In the name of Jesus, we thank you. We thank you. 
We thank you, O Lord. You have been good. You have been good. You have been good. You have been good to us and our families. You have been good to us as a nation. We thank you, O God, in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we give you praise and we give you glory. In Jesus' name, we can never thank you enough. We can never thank you enough because every moment of our lives, you are doing something new. Every moment of our life, you are doing something special, something unique. Oh God. You are always adding to our lives. You are always adding. You are always adding, oh God. Oh, something, oh God, good to our lives. We thank you in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Heavenly Father, you are a good God. Heavenly Father, you are a good God. We, we are very grateful. We are very grateful. We are very grateful. We thank you, Lord. Asida. Yadi mo nyami, yadi mo nyami, yadi mo nyami. Hallelujah, asida. Yadi mo nyami, yadi mo nyami, yadi mo nyami. Amen. Hallelujah, asida. Ayedi mo nyami, asida senu, asida, yedi mo nyami, oh hallelujah, asida, yedi mo nyami, oh yedi mo nyami, oh yedi mo oh nyami, hallelujah, asida. Yadi mo nyami, yadi mo nyami, yadi mo nyami. Amen. The Bible says in Ephesians chapter two, verse eight, it says that for it is by grace we have been saved through faith, and this is not from our, ourselves, or it's not from yourselves. It is the gift of God. Tonight, we want to pray for the gift of salvation because God decided that he would save us from the hands of the enemy. And he did that free of charge to us. We didn't have to do anything. We only have to receive. So we want to thank God once again for our salvation. If the salvation that we have received from God is precious to you if it is important to you then tonight i want to encourage you to give thanks to god for your salvation not all people have received salvation yet but for those of us who have it we need to show our gratitude to the lord for giving us or for saving us so this evening i want you to pray one more time this is our second prayer i want us to pray and thank god for his gift of salvation Pray and thank God for his gift of salvation. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus Christ. We know that you have done a great thing for us by saving us. Because we were restless. We were helpless. And we were in the hands of the enemy. We were in bondage. We didn't know what to do. We could not help ourselves. But Lord, you sent forth your son. Jesus Christ came into this world. And he came to die in our place. And as a result of that, we have received salvation. Salvation from the hands of the enemy. Salvation from death. Salvation from sin. We thank you, O oh God. We thank you, O oh God, for what you have done for us. We appreciate what you have given to us. This gift of salvation that you have given to us is so precious to us. It has changed our lives. It has given us hope, O oh God. And tonight we stand here, O oh God, and we say thank you for saving us. Thank you for this gift, O oh God, that you have given to us, O oh God. We did not have to work for it. We did not have to pay for it, O oh God. You gave it to us free of charge. And tonight, as we stand in your presence, O oh God, we want to say once again, thank you for saving us. Thank you, Lord, for saving us. Thank you for saving us. Oh, Lord, Lord. Uh, this has transformed our lives. Uh. This has transformed our lives, oh God. Yes, you have translated us from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of your dear son. Thank you, O oh Lord, for the gift of salvation. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you. 
Oh, we thank you for saving us. We thank you for delivering us, oh God. We thank you, oh Lord. The salvation, oh God, that we have received, oh God, is so dear to our hearts, oh God. It's so dear to our hearts, oh God. Because you have saved us, oh God. We know that we have a place with you, oh God, in the future. Yes, we know that we can come into your very presence, oh God. We know that when this life is over, there is another life for us oh god the life of god that you have given to us oh god is an eternal one we will live and we will live forever thank you for this gift of salvation thank you it is not an ordinary gift it is a great gift oh god it is a special gift oh god and tonight we say thank you for saving us thank you for saving us in the mighty name of jesus in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. We want to pray once again. We want to pray for those who have not yet received this gift all over the world. God is looking for people to save. God has opened his arms to many people, but it is not all men that have embraced this calling. It is not all men who have come to accept this free gift. So tonight we are standing in prayer and we are praying that at this time when COVID-19 is claiming so many lives, we want to pray that people will come to the saving knowledge of Christ. People will come to accept this special gift that is from God, the gift of salvation. So let us pray one more time in the name of Jesus Christ that those who are not yet saved, the hand of the Lord will get to them. The hand of the Lord will touch them. And then they will surrender to God and say, we have given our lives to God. We have, we have received this gift of salvation in the name of Jesus. Wherever you are, pray in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for saving us. And it is our prayer that those who are yet to be saved, that you, will, you, you will save them too, oh God. Those behind the fence, oh God, we pray that Lord, you will deliver them, oh God. Those who are wallowing in darkness. Uh, it is our prayer that Lord your light will fall on them. Uh, that the light of God will shine on them. Uh, the light of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ will shine on them uh, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Uh, we pray that Lord, they will not continue to resist oh God this free gift. Uh, this free gift the Lord you have offered mankind oh God. Uh, in the name of Jesus Christ uh, I pray oh God that, uh, that as many as that are still in darkness uh, that as many as that are still under the captivity of the enemy Lord deliver them Lord save them Lord deliver Lord save them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ tonight we pray and we call upon you we call upon you because we know that it is your heart desire that lives will be saved it is your heart desire that everybody will surrender his or her life to you in the name of Jesus Christ this is something, oh God, that you have offered the world free of charge, oh God. Oh, so we are praying in the name of Jesus Christ. As many as that have resisted this gift, oh God, I pray, oh God, that you will condition their mind and their heart to repent of their sins, oh God, and run to you, oh God, for cover, and run to you, oh God, for deliverance, and run to you, oh God, in the name of Jesus. You are the savior of the world. You are the savior of the world. Apart from you, oh God, there is no hope for anybody in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You offered your son, your only begotten son, oh God, so that he, through him, oh God, the whole world will be redeemed in the name of Jesus Christ. We are praying tonight that those who are not yet saved, God, we pray that Lord, you will save them. Tonight, we pray that you will save them. We pray tonight that you will save them in our families, uh, those who have not yet surrendered their lives to you, oh God, uh, I pray tonight in the name of Jesus that they, they will yield their will, oh God, unto you. They will surrender their hearts, oh God, unto you. They will receive Christ into their hearts uh, for Him to be their Lord and their Savior. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, 
in dono bro 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 ya ayi kwa kazosto dono bro 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 ya ayi kwa kadon dono bro 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 ya ayi shaba bro 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 ya ya tara bro 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 ya in the name of Jesus Christ thank you Lord 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 in Jesus name oyo ba tampa na ye mu ye ye kesi Ano na wa mayenya kwaje mobrohu fuja obiara ni wati seno oh ano kuna osa me mayen tu se oyoba tampa me si na ye mu ye aye kesi oh ano na wa Amayenya kwa je mo bro hu fueja obiara ni wa ti se onu o onu kuna osa ye e awo mi kra ayi nya mi aye awo onu kuna osa ye Oh, I will make cry. I am in a year. Oh, 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 no, no, no. Oh, sa, hey, if it's a, oh, yo, but I'm pan. And I am who, yeah, yeah, can see. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Mayenya kwa ji awo mo bro wo fu eja obi ara ni wa o ti se onu o onu ko na osa for the last time o yo ba tampa o na ye mu ye ye kasi o onu onu na wa Mayenya kwa ji mo bro fueja obiara ni wa otise onu o onu kuna osa ye I want us to read from Psalm 20 let's read Psalm 20 verse 1 and 2 Psalm 20 verse 1 and 2 The Bible says, "May the Lord answer you when you are in distress. May the name of the Lord, the God of Jacob, protect you. May He send you help from the sanctuary and grant you support from Zion." We are going to pray one more time, brothers and sisters, because it is only God who can support us in these difficult times. It is only God who can deliver us out of our distressful conditions. It is only God who can protect us from COVID-19 and any other forces that comes against us as his children. So tonight we want to pray because our trust is in the name of the Lord. He is the only one we know where human beings are not able to help us, God is well able to help us. Therefore, It is always right. It will never be out of place for us to cry unto God and ask Him to help us, and ask Him to protect us, and help, ask Him to 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 send us help from above. The psalmist said that if I lift up my eyes to the hills, my help all will always come from above. It will come from God. Let us continue to pray in the name of Jesus. Let us pray and ask God to help us. In these critical times, we need help from the Lord. We need help from the Lord. We need His protection. We need the Lord to deliver us out of our distressful conditions. The Lord should come and rescue us. The Lord should come and help us. The Lord should come and support us. When our strength begin to fail, He is always available to strengthen us. He is always available to help us out of our situations. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you for your promises. We thank you because that. We know 
That even when our strength begin to fail us, uh, you are always ready to refill us. And you are always ready to strengthen us. Uh, that is why the Bible says, the letter we say, I am strong because uh, we know we have you. We have you on our side. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, this is a very distressful time for many people, oh God, on the surface of this earth. Uh, and therefore, we call upon you, oh God. Uh, we call upon you to come to our rescue. We call upon you to come and help us, oh God. We need your support, oh God. We need help, oh God. We need help. We have become helpless. But we thank you because you are there to help us. When we call upon you, oh God, we know you descend into our situation, oh God. You descend, you descend into our various circumstances, oh God. And you come to rescue us. When the devil wants us to perish, oh God. You come to rescue us uh, so that we do not die, so that we do not perish, uh, because that is not your will for us. Uh, your will for our lives is that we will live and, and we will declare the works of the Lord. Uh, Heavenly Father, we stand here tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. We are calling upon you and we are telling you, our God and our Father, that this is the time, oh God, we need your help, oh God. This is the time that we need your help because we cannot help ourselves. Uh, we cannot help our ourselves, oh God. Uh, Heavenly Father, we have become exhausted, oh God. Uh, but we know you are always ready to assist us. Uh, you are always ready to assist us. Uh, and tonight, oh God, we are calling upon you. The Lord come to our rescue. Come to the rescue of your people. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. All over the world, we are praying for believers. Uh, all over the world, all over the country, we are praying for believers. And we are praying for all people, oh God. Uh, not only believers, but all mankind. Uh, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, come and rescue us, oh God. We cannot help ourselves unless you come in, oh God. We will perish unless you come in, oh God. There will be no future for us unless you come in, oh God. Our situation will remain hopeless. But Heavenly Father, our trust is in you, God. Our trust is in you, oh God. And we know whenever we call upon you, oh God, in our distressful times, oh God. You come to our rescue. Tonight is one of the nights of God that we are calling upon you, O oh God. Tonight is one of the nights of God. We are calling upon you, O oh God, to come to our rescue. Come and deliver us, O oh God. Come and deliver us, O oh God, from all the attacks of the enemy. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we come against all the unseen forces of God. In the mighty name of Jesus, and we pray that Lord, you will deliver us uh, because you have the power, you have what it takes of God to be able to set us free. We you have the, all the power to set us free in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord, you care for us, oh God. You are concerned about us, oh God. You love us so much, oh God. So we know you will respond, oh God, to our prayer tonight. Yes, you respond, you respond. Responder, you respond to God. All the struggles that we are going through, oh God. Yes, many lives, oh God, are struggling against unseen and yet very real forces of evil. But that we know that you are our fortress. Lord, we know you are our strong tower. We run into you, oh God, and we are saved. We are delivered. We don't care the forces of darkness that rises against us. We don't care the forces of darkness uh, that comes against us on every side. Uh, we know we have you on our side. Uh, if you be for us, uh, who can be against us? Uh, if you, God, you are on our side, uh, who can be against us? Uh, tonight, oh God, uh, we lift up our voices. Uh, we say, Lord, deliver this land, oh God. Deliver this land, oh God, uh, from the forces of darkness. Uh, deliver this land, oh God. Uh, anything that the enemy is doing around us, uh, anything that the enemy is doing around us, uh, anything the enemy wants to do oh to terminate the lives of many in the mighty name of Jesus we pray oh God let up your mighty hand your uh, your mighty hand oh God your mighty hand oh God and deliver us Lord deliver us oh God in the mighty name of Jesus oh in Jesus name you are a gracious God oh Lord you are a gracious God there is nothing you cannot do there is nothing you cannot do our protection of God is of you, is from you. You will protect us, O oh God. You will help us. You will support support us, O oh God. We thank you for your great and your mighty promises in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, we give you praise. Oh, we give you glory. 
In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We want to pray one more time. We want to read verse 4. The Bible says that, verse 4 of Psalm 20, said that, may he give you the desires, the desire of your heart and make all your plans succeed. May he give you the desire of your heart and make all your plans succeed. Yes, it it is only God who can grant you your heart desires. It is only God who can grant our heart desires. Yes, yes, you may have desires. That you may have th things you expect God to do for you. And God has all the resources. He has all the power. He has all the good intentions. So he is ready to grant your heart desires. Whatever plans that God has for you, and whatever plans that you have for yourself, as long as it remains in the will of God, the Lord is ready to grant it. So tonight we are praying that the desires that are in the hearts of his children, he should grant those desires. The Lord should grant those desires. The plans, the plans that we have, the Lord should make our plans succeed. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. These critical times, where people's businesses are failing, where people's finances are failing, where a lot of things are going bad for people. We are praying that the Lord should lift up his mighty hand and he should grant our heart desires. He should make all our plans succeed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let us continue to pray in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you. We thank you for your promise. We know that God, that you want to make our plans succeed. Your word says that we should commit everything that we do to your hands, O oh God, and you will make it succeed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We call upon you tonight, O oh God. We have desires in our heart. We have desires. There are things that we want to experience in our lives as individuals. There are things that we want to experience in our, in our hearts, O oh God, and in our lives, O oh God. Heavenly Father, let it come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let our desires, O oh God, be realized in the name of Jesus Christ. As long as there remain good desires, O oh God, then Lord, we pray that you will grant those desires in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Whatever plans that we have, O oh God, that are Heavenly Father, it will not take our own strength, O oh God. It will not take our wisdom, but it will take, O oh God, your mighty hand. It will take, O oh God, your mighty hand, O oh God, to make all these plans, O oh God, come into fruition. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, O oh God. Lord, help us, help us, O oh God, and let our plans, O oh God, oh, materialize, O oh God, to the glory of your holiness. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come as a cat or did he be the other? Yeah, yeah, da 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 it passed in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. And we want to have fruitful lives, oh God. We want to have successful lives, oh God. And it will come from you. It will come from you. It will come from you in the name of Jesus. You are good, Lord. You are good, Lord. You are good. All your intentions of God for us are good. Even the plans that you have for us, they are good plans of God. Your word says, Oh God, that the plans that you have for us, they are plans of good and not of evil to give us a hope and a future. Heavenly Father, sometimes when we look at what is happening around us, it looks as if our plans are will never come to pass, oh God. But we know you are a faithful God. And we know that as long as we continue to call upon you, you will make our plans succeed. And you will grant our heart desires in the mighty name of Jesus. Tonight, oh Lord, grant our heart desires, oh God. Grant our heart desires, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. 
doli bini anada braba ya ayin tola braba baba ya ikwa kazosto doli bini anaya ayada braba babo alinda braba baba ya ikwa kazosto doli bini anaya alaba baba baba ya ayanda braba baba ya ikwa kazosto dola brandi bini anaya alada braba baba 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 ya ayikwa katanda braba anaya in Jesus name in Jesus name. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Psalm 20, verse 7, the Bible says that some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. Beloved, we have only one person to trust, and he is God. He is God. Those who trust in chariots and in horses, they, are, they get disappointed in the end because at a point, their horses, their chariots fail them. But our God will never fail us. Our God will never fail us. Because he is faithful and he will remain faithful to the end. We want to pray that God will help us. That each day of our lives, we will learn to put our trust in God. That in the midst of all the difficulties, we will still continue to put our trust in God. Knowing that he is the only one we have. Knowing that he is the only one who can help us. We will not do as the hidden do. We will do what is right. And what is right is to put our trust in the Lord. We want to pray one more time. Lord, help us that our trust will solely rest in you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let's continue the prayer. Father, we thank you. We thank you because that you have made yourself available for us to put our trust in you. You are indeed God. You are God Almighty. Yes, you can never disappoint anybody, oh God. You can never disappoint your children. So it is always right for us to put our trust in you. Tonight we call upon you that in the face of all the difficulties of God, that we will always put our trust in you. We are not allowed the circumstances around us, oh God, that to cause us to put our trust in other things, oh God. All other things are failing, but God, you are always there for your people. You are always powerful. You are the almighty God uh, and you are the faithful God uh, and you remain faithful all the time. Uh. Your word even says that where we remain unfaithful, you are faithful oh God. Uh, we can depend on you. We can put our trust oh God in you. Tonight oh God we call upon you. Tonight we call upon you. We call upon you oh God. Uh, help us oh God uh, so that we will constantly put our trust in you because we know those who put their trust in you, O oh God. You do not put them to shame. You do not disappoint them. You do not disappoint them because you always, O oh God, perform what you have promised to do in their lives. You always do what you have promised to do in their lives. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, O oh God, we have had experiences of the things, O oh God, that you promised to do in our lives. And you did it when the time came, O oh God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. This is not a time for us to turn our back on you. This is not a time for us, oh God, to put our trust in something else. To, oh, in the name of Jesus Christ, our trust is in you alone. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord. We thank you more. Yes, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Beloved, we want to pray one more time. This time, we are praying that God should have mercy upon us. And that the Lord should not cause his anger or his wrath to burn against us. If we have done anything bad, if the people of this earth have done anything bad or any sinful thing, we are asking for God's mercy. We are asking for God's grace. That God help us. Help us. Anything that we will further do to attract the wrath of God, we are praying that God should help us not to walk in that way of life, not to do those things so that we will not attract the wrath of God upon our lives. We are praying because we know our God is gracious and merciful, but we need him to help us. We need him to help us so that in our conduct, we will not do anything that will attract the wrath of God upon our life. Let's continue to pray in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. Father, we come to you. We know that you are a holy God. We know that you are a just God. We know that, Lord, you don't want us to walk anyhow. 
You want us to be careful the way we live, the way we conduct ourselves, oh God. Uh, before you, we want to be blameless, oh God. Before you, oh God, we want to walk justly, oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ, we need you to help us, oh God. We need you to help us because we don't want to attract your wrath, oh God, upon our lives. We don't want to attract your wrath upon our lives. Yes, of course, we see all kinds of evil going on around us. But we are praying, oh God, God, for your mercy. We are praying, oh God, that, that people, oh God, that, that will have a repentant heart, oh God, that, and they will walk soberly before you, oh God. They will walk in humility. Yes, they will walk before you, oh God, that, and give you honor and, 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 and walk in such a way that they, they will know that, that entangle themselves with all kinds of evil in the mighty name of Jesus Christ because we know that and when we continue to walk in evil, when we continue to walk in a way that pleases our own selves, oh God. Uh, yes, we incur your displeasure and we attract your wrath upon us, oh God. But tonight we are praying in the name of Jesus Christ. You are the merciful God. You are the merciful God, oh God. Help us, oh God. Help us, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. That anything that is not acceptable, oh God, in your sight, uh, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that, that believers, oh God, uh, will not walk in them. Uh, and we also pray Pray that Lord, that those who have not even come to know you, O oh God, they will come to their senses, O oh God, and they will begin to turn away from their wicked ways. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, when wicked people turn from their wicked ways, O oh God, oh, and they come to you, you receive them because you are the gracious Lord. Lord, this is what we are calling for, O oh God, that the land of oh God will repent of its sins. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, and that will run to you, O oh God, for Shut I will run to you, O oh God, for protection in the mighty name of Jesus. Yaka ba 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 ya. Aye tolo ba 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 ku akata ya da brada ya. Aye ku akaso stondo ni In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you praise and we give you glory in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We want to pray one more time. We are praying for God. To move in the land. We are praying that God will intervene in this nation. And wherever you are, if you are not in Ghana, wherever you are, I want you to pray for your country or the country of your res of residence. I want you to pray that God will show that land mercy. And that those who are being tortured by this COVID-19, the Lord will deliver them. We are praying. We are interceding strongly on behalf of the land where we dwell. That God should be gracious unto us. The Lord should deliver us. Because from all indication, we don't have the clue. We don't have all the answers. We are trying as humans, but we cannot get the ultimate solution to this problem. It takes only God. So we are praying that God deliver us. Help us recover from this disease. As many as that have been infected in this land, we pray for a higher recovery rate and a fast one in the name of Jesus Christ. We know it is only God who can do it for us. Let us pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you because that we know that you are so much concerned about us. Yes, you don't want to see us waste away just like that through this disease. We are calling upon you, O oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ, that you will help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. Help the people of this land. Help us, O oh God, those who have been infected, O oh God, with this virus, O oh God. We are calling upon you. There are people who don't even know, who don't know that they have been infected, but you know everything. And you can do something about everybody's situation. We are praying that as many as that have been infected, Lord, we pray that you will deliver. Pray that you will set free, set 
people free. Set people free, oh God. We pray for a very high recovery rate, oh God, in this country. In the name of Jesus Christ. That those who have been infected, oh God, Lord, by your mighty power, they will recover. Yes, the health professionals will do their work. But we know that healing comes from you. We know that healing comes from you. Lord, heal the people of this land. Heal the people of this land. When we pray, you hear us. When you pray, you answer us, oh God. Tonight, we are calling upon you. Lord, uh, help us out of this situation. Help us, oh God, uh, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, you are gracious, oh God, and you are merciful. And I know you, oh God, will do something, oh God, about this situation. You will definitely, oh God, do something. You respond to our prayer tonight, oh God, because you love us. You care for us. You care for us, oh God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you for your love. Thank you, Lord, for your message. Thank you, Lord, for your grace. Oh, so sufficient to go to take care of every situation, oh God, that we find ourselves in. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yet I was here in Sado. Oh, Ray. You are here in Sado. Yet I was here in Sado. Oh, Ray. You are here. I said, Oh, Oh, my Oh, 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 my end, Oh, my end, Oh, my end, Oh, my end, Oh, 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 my end, Oh, my end, Oh, my end, Oh, Oh, my end, Oh, Oh, yeah, you are ya. Ah, and Tonight, we want to pray and give thanks to the Lord. For the Lord has heard our prayer. He has answered our prayer this night. And we have every reason to thank him for what he has done. Our prayers have not been in vain. The time that we have spent with the Lord has never been in vain. Let's show our gratitude to the Lord this evening. Let's thank the Lord. Let's thank the Lord for answered prayer in the name of Jesus. We thank you, gracious Lord. We thank you, our Father in heaven. We thank you, O God. We know that this time in your presence has been very fruitful. Heavenly Father, because you have heard us and you have acted on our behalf. You have answered our prayer. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. You are the one who makes things happen for us all the time. So we'll continue to come. We'll never stop coming before your presence of God who never comes. Oh, because anytime we come with our petitions of God, you are ready to hear us. Anytime we come with our petitions of God, you are ready to hear us of God. Thank you, oh God, for banishing anxiety, oh God, and stress oh, out of our hearts, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we will not go oh, from this place and continue to think about anything, continue to worry ourselves oh, unnecessarily, oh God, oh, about the issues that confront us in life. Why? Because we know we have committed everything to you in prayer and Lord you have heard us oh God you have taken control of our various situations oh God uh, and we say thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you for your kindness thank you oh Lord uh, thank you oh Lord uh, for any time we come oh God uh, we go out of your presence oh God uh, in victory we have overcome uh, because that is what you have done for us thank you in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus we give you praise and we give you glory in Jesus name our father in heaven we thank you for what you have done for us thank you for our country we thank you for what you have done for this nation for the leadership and for the citizenry we know that you have stretched forth your hands and you have touched everybody living on the surface of this earth we thank you for our brothers and sisters that you have touched all over the world because we all came together to pray this evening. We know that you are a faithful God. Tonight, we are sure of one thing, that you have given us the victory 
that we were looking for. Because in Jesus Christ, we are more than conquerors. We thank you for your love. And we know that you will continue to show us your faithfulness. Each day of our lives, your mercies we will see. And we thank you that until we come to you in prayer another time, you are always ready for us. You will never get tired of us. You never get tired of our petitions. You never get tired of our supplications. You never get tired of our intercessions. And that is what we will do because we know that we have a relationship with you. We do everything in our power to maintain this wonderful relationship that, Lord, we are building with you because you have opened your arms to us and you always welcome us into your presence. What a privilege we have. What a privilege we have as your children. We thank you, Father. Tonight, even as we are living here, we are not leaving your presence because your word says that you'll be with us to the close of the age. We pray that your presence will continue to abide with us and our families. And we pray that if tomorrow comes, we know we'll do the needful by giving you thanks and praise and continuing to commit our lives to you. You are the shepherd of our souls. We thank you, Father, for answered prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. God bless you for joining us in this prayer session. I know God willing, next week we'll meet again to pray. Keep the fellowship, and keep praying because God is always listening to his children. God bless you once again, and I know that we'll meet another time. In Jesus' name, amen. Your, you don't know the numbers that uh, we pay our offerings and our thighs through. Uh, the numbers have been projected on the screen. So uh, the number is 055-0595-818-731. And the Momo Pay number is 434-324. So, as you give to support the work of God, the Lord will continue to bless you. The Bible says that God loves a cheerful giver. So, anytime you have the opportunity to give, give something and give it out of a cheerful heart. And your blessings will never elude you. God bless you for supporting this kingdom business. Amen.